There you have it. <laughs> well, Sports Edge tonight with a big night for the UConn women playing in the Elite Eight once again yeah. for a chance now at their 11th national title. And, and if they win tonight, they'll be sent to their ninth straight Final Four. Sports Edge's John Pearson live in Bridgeport tonight where the Lady Huskies getting ready to roll. John. Well, guys, if history is going to repeat itself with another national championship this year, history will have to repeat itself here in the Elite Eight game. Last year, UConn had to beat Texas to get to the Final Four, and this year, they'll have to beat Texas again in the Elite Eight to get to the Final Four. And they annihilated the Longhorns a year ago by 51 points. Now, winning is a uh, become contagious here at UConn and the margins of victory are staggering and has had some people in the last couple days saying these blowouts are boring and one guy even saying it was bad for the game and since one is striving for greatness and achieving greatness a bad thing. Gino Riemma's program well his assistants say part of the success goes into recruiting players not just the talented players there's a recipe for it. I think one, you have to be a good student. Two, I think you have to be a good person. Three, you have to be unselfish, be willing to and, and want to be part of something that's not all about you. We spend most of our time as assistants recruiting and going to try to find the players that we think will be a good fit here. It, the, the Probably the lowest thing on the totem pole is talent. It's easy to say you want to win a national championship. It's not easy to work as hard as you have to to be able to put yourself in that position. So I think that's part of it. It starts with Coach Ariema, number one, in his expectations of himself, number one, and of his staff, but also his high expectations of the players. He makes you believe in yourself and do things that maybe you didn't think you could do. Well, this team is certainly believing in itself after the first three games of this tournament. They've had some great first quarters to start. They'll probably have another one tonight against Texas. The game starts at 7, and if you want to see some of this greatness, tune in early, a 7 o'clock tip-off. We'll have more coming up later on in sports. We'll hear from Gino Ariema and how he thinks his team is playing right now. Till then, guys, let's send it back to you.